What's up my John, this is called first banging with a banging video today. We are gonna try to figure out what is the best path for the boomerang monkey. Glaive Lord, Permacharge, or Moab Domination. We will be looking at cost, efficiency, strategies, and more. Now if you guys do enjoy my video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Because only about 1% of you guys are actually subscribed. But out of the way, let's do this. First, we'll be looking at the top half. Now with zero upgrades, this guy's pierce is already four, but with the first upgrade improved ranks, this guy's pierce is increased to four, and total of eight pierce. Now time for his second upgrade, glaives. These glaives are bigger and faster, hitting more balloons with each throw. Getting five pierce on the top of this previous upgrade, now he's equivalent to 13 pierce for most upgrades, but a small little factor, he also gets a 50% knockback for Moab press balloons. This is a nice upgrade if you're running a 205. Now the third tier, I apologize if I pronounce this wrong, Glaive Rochicho Ricocha Ricocha or I I don't know, okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, glaives automatically bounce towards each balloon with a sharp turning. Now this guy can pop 60 balloons per glaive. Glaives can travel through obstacles too. That is a nice factor. Time for his fourth upgrade, the Mora Glaives. Now his pierce is automatically increased from 60 to 100. But not only that, it's a one damage increase to ceramic balloons. Also, his attack speed is doubled and now glaives bounce distance is increased too. Very solid upgrade for only 2,500 coins. Now time for his final upgrade, Glaive Lord. Bam, look at him. Now, if you guys don't know, this guy does not get camera protection at all. So the little glaives spinning around him aren't able to pop it, but they're not the exact best. Let's just say that because they cannot pop lib loons unless you're running a 502 with red hot rings. So this guy is usually paired up with an MIB. What the MIB does is that he's able to hit all balloons, camo ones, lead camo ones, and even the fart balloons, he's able to hit them. You guys better get ready for this one because this is a mouthful. He gains a sharp 30 range zones that deals two damage every 0.1 seconds to all the affected balloons in the radius, including camo balloons. Those are the spinning ones around him, plus eight ceramic damage, and plus five mob class balloons, and two more to fortified balloons. Main glaives deal plus seven damage and plus eight to ceramic ones now can inflict a sharp shredding damage over time to a mob class balloons as you see right now slowly dealing 100 damage every one second for 15 seconds and this guy is great against balloons but not really moabs at all but that means he's the cheapest tower out of all the past for the boomerang monkey i actually give this guy a solid b tier you know, just because he can hit those small little balloons but can't do that much against those moabs solid monkey for a great price now my favorite path the middle one perma charge I use this guy pretty much in all of my videos, especially for trying to solo with him only on chimps with buffs along the way. Hey, if you guys have any like kind of solo suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. But on Monkey Meadows, I always go left handed with him because it just goes insane. It goes dummy. This guy mainly is used against tearing up Moabs easily with a very strong mid game ability. Now his first upgrade, faster throwing. With this, his attack speed is 33% faster and his attack cooldown is 0.75 times faster. Now this might not be the the best at the start but later rounds it's definitely really good time for a second upgrade faster rings now his attack speed is increased 33 percent faster on top of the previous upgrade but here's a change his projectile speed is also increased now it's time for the game changing upgrade bionic boomerang now like already says does more damage to moab class balloons well, that's not it. Not only his damage is increased, now his attack is five times faster than the ordinary brainworm monkey and also deals two damage to Moab class balloons. This is actually pretty helpful against round 40 with paired up with something else. Now for his fourth upgrade, as always, it's an ability. This ability doesn't make him stronger without using the actual ability, of course. Now when using the ability, the attack speed is seven times faster and deals one damage for 10 seconds as a cooldown of 45 seconds. Now he doesn't use the ability, it doesn't really do anything, but watch when he does. Look at him go. Guys leaking all those balloons. Now time for the perma charge, the last upgrade being at 29,000 cash. But this actually increases his attack speed and stuff without even using the ability. So now this guy is able to take out a big red with ease without even the ability. Now what exactly the effects do? Well, mainly the effects, he gets the turbo attack speed, the seven times faster, but he also deals four damage by default. Now his ability, plus eight damage for 15 seconds with red hot ranks. His attack deals another four damage and his ability damage is increased further by two. Now pair this guy up with an MIB, this man is going ham. But also with the boomer monkey with all paths, getting primary training and primary 
primary mentoring, increasing range and ability cooldowns, plus more pierce, projectile speed. This guy is a machine. Now you might be asking yourself, what's the best cross path with a perma charge? Well, well, you can either longer range or improved rings and glaives. This makes him so much stronger, especially being able to get more pierce, hitting multiple loons with just one boomerang. Now maxing this guy out, he's just right around the middle between the other pass. He's great mid game and even late game too, dealing with those mobs too. Now of course, all pass cannot hit camera protection, but if you do a 0-5-2, you can hit leads. But if you don't, you can always use an MIB. Now I don't know about you, but I definitely have to put this guy as an A tier. He's a very cheap monkey in the start, and just so good. Especially with the perma charge, I was able to shoot so much faster, ripping through mobs with ease. Now it's time for the last path, Moab Domination. With this path, you don't need MIB. All you really need is a radar scanner or Gerardo with this invisibility potion. As always, on Monkey Meadows, if I place him right here, left handed, no matter what. Moving on to their first upgrade, Long Range Rings. This guy's range is increased by 33% and boomerangs are thrown on a wider curve. With the second upgrade being Red Hot Rings, this guy is really, really good for round 28. If you don't know what round 28 is, this is when lead balloons come by and now this guy is able to pop them and also frozen balloons too but not only that it can pop any bloom type and main attack glaive orbitals deal one damage but this also gives even more damage with the perma charge too the third upgrade kylie boomerang not really this kind of destroys the whole thing about going in an orbital because now kylie boomerangs are thrown and returned in a straight path instead of curve but the pierce is improved to 18 and can re-hit the same balloons after 0.3 seconds and now the fourth upgrade this is the lowest cost out of all the paths the Moab Press. Now if you can't tell because of the name, he's able to knock the Moabs back. This is really good on a glue gunner with Moab glue too. But this only happens every once in a while. The good thing is, now it deals 1 damage to balloons in this path and 5 to Moabs too. While pushing them backwards by a set amount of distance, these blue rings have 200 peers and can re-damage balloons after 0.1 seconds. That's really good. Now it's funny that the 4th upgrade is the lowest cost for all paths, but the final upgrade is the most. At 42,000, the Moab Domination. Now the Kylie Boomerangs deal 10% damage, all attacks fire twice as fast, special knockback Boomerangs deal increased Moab damage. Also 100 added pierce, but not only that produces a powerful burning explosion or even more damage. Now I don't personally use this guy as much, but he's decently good with paired up with the glue gunner of course, but he can also be used just as a fourth upgrade getting that knockback for the Moab class balloons. Also now throwing them in a straight curve too, kind of unique. With all that being said, I would have to give this guy a solid B tier. Now you may be wondering which is the best cross path with this guy? Well, it has to be a 205 getting the glaives on it, meaning that the pierce is increased and it also gives a 50% knockback for bar press balloons. So what is the best path for the boomerang monkey? Well, well, I can tell this right now, it's not the bottom one, it's not the top one, but it's the middle one. With their perma charge, you can also run color arms and homeland defense. And even a buffer attack speed, I had to give this guy the best path middle path without a doubt and like i said the cross path a 250 let's see the homeland security oh wowzers he is going ham on that bad i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys did please make sure to like comment and subscribe we are so close to hitting 1000 subscribers i can't wait but after that we're gonna keep pushing you know i'm gonna keep pushing myself to the top you know what? i already know it we're gonna hit 1 million hopefully if not it's whatever not much you can do about it so if you guys have any suggestions please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys later. Peace.